about the house because it had to be replaced. Because my drains are backing up. Uh, they came out and there's a guy and he um, had to take the toilet apart. There was a whole huge thing. Basically, the pipes are cast iron that they needed replaced. I don't know, of course, he's going to say that. But when he did that, he used my chop back. Um, so that took forever to, to clean because it was filled with toxic sludge, waste sludge. Um, and it got all over the floors. I have mopped three times now, and the water is still coming up black. Doesn't smell real great in here. And to top it all off, I ran the sink yesterday to wash my hands and it backed up. So I'll let's go take a look and see if it's actually still even draining. <laughs> I don't want to test it on the toilet because the toilet could potentially get gross. So let's just. Turn the shower on here for a second. Yeah. Okay. Good news. The shower is still draining. So bad news. There is something going on with my kitchen sink and it is either set up on its own leach field or the drain itself is clogged because it does not take very long before this starts backing up. See, there it is. So there's definitely some sort of a problem with the sink drain, but evidently it's a different problem and it's a different system than this drain because that's backed up. So now that other one's backed up and this is still draining fine. person that picks up animals. Oh my god, I can't even. Okay, let's go find a good spot for you.
with me ripping cardboard up isn't too bad. Um, but I kind of wanted to take a chance to talk with you guys before I start working on the projects for the day. So I want to keep it real, and I always do. Um, I feel like I'm pretty good about not sugarcoating things on social media. Um, and so, yeah, I've been struggling kind of lately. Um, and I kind of wanted to talk about what, why that is. So, um, with the house, obviously there's a million projects that need done. I mean, I absolutely am not complaining about the house that I bought. I knew that it was going to need just so much work and time and money. Um, and I know it's going to take a really long time because kind of my philosophy and I think a lot of people's philosophy is if you don't have a lot of money, then you better have a lot of time. And that's like 100% like how oh, this is going to go for me. Well, I'm struggling to like allocate my time. Um, so Monday through Friday, I, I work a 9 to 5 job and a lot of the times I have extra time with that. Um, my company and my boss are really great that like if I don't have something to do, they don't expect me to just sit there and stare at an empty screen. Um, I am totally able to go and work on projects and stuff. Um, so it's not like I only have the weekends to work on stuff, but I feel like I'm not getting as much done as I should. How much stuff that needs done around the house um, for the most part, all of the true needs, like I literally can't use the house until this is fixed, is done. Like I have a swamp cooler, which is an obvious need during the summer, and the house is um, habitable right now. <laughs> like it's not great, um, and there's a million things that need done, but like I'm okay. And so basically, I'm kind of having problems both deciding on what projects to do now as well as like allocating priority to them. Basically, I think a big part of the problem is that I'm at a point in, the, in my projects where there's not a lot that's like instantly gratifying. It's not like when I do things, I'm like, wow, this is exactly how I wanted it. And, you know, like, it's part of the finished product. Like, a lot of the things that I'm doing is, like, spraying for bugs or fixing things that other people did wrong or um, picking up garbage. So, basically... There's all sorts of things that I could do and that I even want to do, um, but the priority level of them is like so hard to determine. So for example, I have the stuff to rescan my walls and I even spend a lot of time cleaning my walls. I have footage that is really old that I couldn't put in a video because I kind of put that project on hold and I was like, well, I'll just include that footage whenever I get around to doing that project. But like, in reality, in terms of priority level, how important is it for my walls to be a blank, fresh canvas, you know? Not, not really high, but like, it would be pretty satisfying. Another example is my fence. So I've been taking my fence down a lot um, because I want to put a new fence up for Teddy. But I don't need it to be like a six foot tall privacy fence. I just need it to be like a little four foot tall garden fence. And also because I want it to be located elsewhere. Like I don't like where the fence currently is. So, um, like part of that is just like, just for me, like, oh, I don't like where the current fence is. But the other part of it is that there's been a lot of coyote stuff going on and I'm worried about Teddy. So I think that that's where my priority lies right now is getting a fence that will hold Teddy in because even if I hadn't started taking this fence down, he was able to get out underneath it and stuff because it was constructed really badly and there was all sorts of gaps on the ground and holes and um, boards that were falling down. So it didn't really hold him in the first place. Um, 
So I think that that's where my priority is right now, is putting the fence up, but, but that's not helping the house. That's not getting the house habitable or livable or helping with the cockroaches or, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so hard because like, for example, all of my tools are just laying on the floor and it really bothers me. It's just like a sea of crap. It's like a five by five square. And if you need something out of the middle or the back of it, it's so hard to get to. It's, it's relatively organized, but it's as organized as you can get with it being on the floor. And I'm like, well, I, I could put up shelves. I have a spot where it'd be really great to put up shelves. Um, but then it's like, well, what, how big of a priority level is shelves in comparison to like making sure my dog is safe? You know what I mean? And then there's always, with every project, there's always like an order of operations. Like, for example, I don't want to put up shelves because then I have to move them. Um, and I, where I was going to put up shelves, like just with my wood from my fence, like I want to put a wardrobe there. So it's like, well, just why would I build shelves when I'm going to put a wardrobe there in a little bit anyways? So don't, don't put in shelves, just put in the wardrobe. I don't want to put in the wardrobe um, until the floor's painted. And there's just a million things that need to happen before the floor is painted. So I guess the tools aren't going to be organized um, until the floor is painted. I, I don't know. There's just all of these things that are like dependent on each other. And part of it is like in my own head. It's like, well, I don't want to skim the walls in this room until I've got this door put in or until I've got this window fixed or whatever because I will have to patch that. But then, you know, you can always re-skim or, you know, skim and blend. Um, but it's like, well, I might as well not do it until I can do it right the first time. So I'm, I think the moral of the story is that I'm getting in my head too much. And um, I am preventing myself from doing projects that are fun because they're not necessary. Um, but because I'm not doing any projects that are fun, I'm like losing motivation to do any projects. So I think what needs done is for me to just get out of my own way and do projects regardless whether they're net needed or whether they're just for fun or whatever, because they need done at some point. Um, and it's not like if because I'm doing a fun project, I'm taking time away from doing an important project because truthfully, I'm, I'm not doing any project. <laughs> when I talk myself out of doing a fun project, nine times out of 10, I'm on my phone or I am just on my, I'm on my phone. <laughs> so yeah, I, wanted to share all of that with you because I think it could be really easy to see like a video edited together where it's like, oh, I have all my priorities straight, I know exactly what I'm doing, um, I'm, I'm productive and I'm doing stuff all the time, but really it's like, you know, it's all edited together where you're not seeing me sit on my phone or be upset or sad or not knowing what to do or and stuff like that. So anyways, I'm almost done ripping up this box and then I'll take you outside and show you the compost bin because I, I did an episode um, a couple weeks back on my compost bin that I made out of wood and that that didn't work. And so since then I've been experienced experimenting with a trash can compost bin. Um, that so far is working, so I'll walk out and show you guys that. And then, hopefully I'll be done talking for this video, because I know I've been talking a lot. So this is the compost bin so far and it's 
working pretty good. This is not its home, but this is where it's kind of been stationed so that it doesn't fall over. And yeah, basically, I have not put any holes in this at all. Um, and I probably should. I, I think it is holding a little too much water and it has a lot of mold in it right now, but at the same time, the mold is eating stuff. So <laughs> it's working. I think I can see decomposition. Um, it's only been going, I think, probably two weeks now. Um, but yeah, this is really great because basically it's super easy to turn. So I'll, I'll back the camera out here in a second and you can see how I turn it. Um, and yeah, so far so good with the trash can. bushes like the bush itself could use some pruning it's got the fence behind it so i honestly can't even blame it but like look at all of these pretty pink flowers <sighs> i love it i'm obsessed um it's gonna be so hard to work with though because all the screws face this way <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go get like a flannel on or something so I don't get scratched up, but I'm gonna get rid of this fence. Finally, I'm so excited to get rid of this fence. You have no idea. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, it's too hot. This is like the thickest flannel I have, which is good because it keeps you from getting poked, but oh boy, it is a little toasty. and I don't have any trash bags and so I'm gonna haul some rocks in baby little buckets. some wood that needs stacked, some leaves, and the posts. I even cleaned up the patio a bunch. Like, it's not totally clean, but like, there was a bunch of stuff right here, and it's all gone. So, look at this! <sighs> I'm so happy. Thank you. 
tiles off my floor. Yesterday, 
All right, my plan yesterday was to build my rain barrel. It's a little um, bulkhead to add a spigot to a barrel I got. Um, and instead, I went and burned my fingers while I was making lunch and went to the emergency room. So the show must go on. I really want to get this rain barrel set up so that I can see if it's gonna work because I'm going out of town um, for my high school reunion. It, it needs a chance to have like a practice run so that um, I know if it's gonna work while I'm gone or not. So anyways, I am, um, I'm okay. It feels all right now, um, but yeah, I've got stuff to do. Down into the bottom of the barrel. Reduce, reuse, recycle. 